God Speaking of like Durbin, subject is a uh, Buff Bagwell versus Conrad Thompson. I I, I saw a Twitter handle the thing of, of this. I guess. Do you have? Uh, what is, I got what is it. it. I got it. Oh, you got it. Okay, let's. Okay, well, I'm gonna. What read is it? Email. Well, first of all, what no, is no, it? I'm gonna. I'm gonna read the email first, and we'll go. Greetings to my two favorite acquaintances. Have you guys seen that new video making the rounds about the Buff Bagwell Conrad Thompson incident at the first Starcast? A very shattered Buff Bagwell was on the Hannibal TV show recently, and he described how Conrad had two of his hired goons forcefully take a large cut of the money Buff earned that weekend by selling his own 8x10s and DVDs. Maybe your excellent producer has the audio to play for you. <laughs> okay. Did either of you two – and he, he kind of called you out there too, Joe, that he's like saying that like you should have stuff ready when you see these emails. So like the thing, But like he, he's pointed out that like, you know – I don't like his that attitude. The, Bad yeah, did either of you two have any financial squabbles with Conrad that weekend over your payment, or is Buff just talking out of his arsehole? Live Where long and prosper, have... Mike Derman. I have okay, so you got this video. I haven't seen it. No, no, I've no, I've never had a problem with Conrad, except yeah, for the fact I... that the I do actually I've had a problem with Conrad is that he booked me for the the, the Vegas stuff, but then kind of like it didn't happen. So, but I don't care. I, I don't. I don't. I don't need the money. I have another job. Yeah, I had. I had no problem with him, and I hooked him up with Pentagon and Phoenix. They had no problems with yeah, him. Yeah, he he's going to help me sell some of my stuff. Conrad's cool. I'm, I'm super cool with Conrad. I, I like him. I had a confrontation with Conrad Thompson at StarCast, and people wanted me to ask you about that. Oh, God, that's crazy. Oh, God. It's, it's so ridiculous. It's, it's hard to even tell. Long, long story short, we were given a table that we were – going to sell our merchandise at. We bought the table. People were walking up with things saying they already paid for a picture of mine. And what does Buff do? He gives them a free picture. Whole time, looking at my agent going, go fucking find Conrad. Find what the fuck it. Scott Steiner's about to flip. So Scott's, in, Scott's, in the same, Scott's got the same story. He's right beside us. And I said, I said, what the fuck? You know, so we try to fix it and all that. Finally, it gets time to leave. And they want to take a cut of my money that I've sold on my own, uh, my own pictures, my own DVDs, my own T-shirts. They didn't have one picture on my desk. It was all my stuff. And they wanted, they wanted money for it. And I, I saw this coming, so I got ready and, of course, pulled some out and hit it. And he, Conrad says, so I, I'm trying to get my girlfriend out of it, baby. I said, I'm telling you, they're going to come. They're coming. I, t- I went to him. I said, dude, I said, you did this. He did this. I told him everything we just talked about. I said, dude, I said, let's let it go. He goes, I'll tell you what. I said, figure out what it is. Oh, yeah. I'll write you a check. I swear to God, I've, you know, my name is Solid Rock. I'll write you a check. I'll, it's not worth it right now with all the eyes everywhere, you know. So we go walking outside, and he sends two of his thugs out. Black suit. The, I mean, the music is just started in the background, like, dun, 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 I mean, like, the two, the two thugs, ball, one's bald-headed, one's black hair, uh, you know, and they come out jacked up, you know, the suit's on, and they go, where's the black bag? Where's, which is my purse I carry with me, which is, they make fun of them called Merce, which I don't go fuck who makes fun of it, so I carry. It's called Merce. Yeah. And they, uh, they, um, they come to us, and I would already taken the money out. And I give them half of the money that I had in there. I said, here, that got him off my back. Boom, boom, and the door left. But that's what happened. In, in, in front of a, a thousand people for no reason. It, it was just, it was done so, so, so wrong. It was done wrong. All you had to do is put me to the side, talk to me. I'm so solid. I would, I'd pay anybody. I would never screw nobody. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. <clears throat> All right, what would you think of that? I don't know. I love Buff, but is he drunk in that thing or what? <laughs> Likely. <laughs> you tell me. You know, um, I'm like, no comment. Um, yeah. I- I'll say this, okay? And I would like to get Conrad's version of this, all right? Yeah. Um, when when I did StarCast, it's a flat fee. They're pay- he paid me. They have the pictures to sell, okay? Now, I will say this. Um, I had done a thing at WrestleCon, okay, where I was getting a flat fee, all right? And the guys, they, they didn't have any pictures for me. I had like, like it was, WrestleCon was a clusterfuck, all right? Um, so I was, just, I just had my, they had all the areas, that, so I sold my own pictures. And I got paid for the StarCat, but what am I supposed to do? I'm not, I'm not, you know, 
there, there's there's they pay me if they, they had stuff for me to sell those and they didn't provide them. No, do you think I'm that not, maybe Buff was selling his own shit that, without that's what, Con, so that, so that's Conrad what I'm knowing about? It, and then Conrad was like, "Yo, okay, because but, but but here's what Buff said. He said they didn't have any pictures. He Buff says no pic. They had no pictures for him to sell. Okay, um, so like if you know if, they, if Conrad's paying you a fee and you're you know you give them I I. I mean, to me, that sounds like that they they resolved it because basically Conrad. Well, no, I think he's thing. mad because they kicked him out and took his. No, no, they, they took. But, yeah, but 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 the thing was, they they took his money because like maybe he was supposed to be getting paid from Conrad. Right. Okay, I get that. And the but- whole thing is, is like, wait a second, you know, we're but you know, it, it sounds to me like a complete miscommunication, or maybe that they did not have the pictures there, and it sounds to me if the pictures were not there, and Buff took the picture money and gave them. You know, whatever, and can't, you know, same. I could see that as a, as a resolution of the situation. But I would like to know if they did have pictures there, and Buff was instead of selling the, the pictures that they're supposed to do, where they, you know, you know how these starcasts were. People pay for pictures, they give you the thing. Hey, I'm supposed to get two signed pictures here. I paid twenty five. You know, they there. show you the thing, right? So it's like you know. But I wonder if Buff was just selling the pictures to people when they should have been giving them the free pictures. Right. You know, so that's what I would like to hear that version. But it sounds like the way it resolved him, obviously, like, <laughs> I like to know about this term, two big goons. Because I don't remember. <laughs> Bro, do you remember when Starcast like, there'd be like big goons in the suits walking around there? <laughs> Bro, that place was so. There was, I mean, you know. I'll tell you this for having so many people there and the mass, his fucking, I thought he did a pretty good job, Conrad. Yeah, it was, oh. it was a cluster fight. But I will say this. And he said Conrad said he gave him a check, but Conrad offered to pay me in, in PayPal. So I wonder if that was offered, mm. you know. But the whole thing, the check, yeah, Conrad, Conrad didn't have cash. There's no way if the brothers, so many people, there no, was wait, no wait, way. Wait. If I, anybody like if Conrad Thompson was bringing that much cash to pay people, then that it could not feasibly be done. There was there was so many people that that they were he would have had to pay, and plus he could have gotten rolled. That right. part of the story, you know, so that, somebody finds out, hey, Conrad Thompson's paying everybody in cash. Oh, really? Yeah. You know, how, you know, seriously, you could you could rob the guy. And he was you know? and he was hurt too. Remember, he had a, a boot on. That's his right. Foot, he had, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, new brace on I, I think that part of the story got a little confused because Buff was hard to understand. I think what he was saying was that he offered to pay Conrad with a check later, and he wanted to take oh, the cash that then. That's okay. what it sounded like. So, and Conrad or his guys, whatever, were like, uh, no. Oh, okay. No, thank that's you. right. Right. So you want to pay? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So maybe I misunderstood that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So now I can see where. Yeah. The, yeah. He didn't want to take the check. Obviously. Right. He. Wants, I can see that. So. Yeah. yeah but the, but <laughs> that but that was not a good look for Buff right there. I'll be honest with you. No. You know, so he's still my boy. But Buff is a pain in the ass with with, with, with promoters. He drives he drives these guys up the wall. I think it's funny. That these guys are always like complaining to me sometimes. The we will be on show above is like, what fucking bag was just doing? I go, bro, this. <laughs> that's right. like, you know, he's been, he hasn't like changed. The other day, he has not changed <laughs> in 25 years. The this other day, this guy, guy right? this guy from uh, that does like these autograph signings here in San Diego, he was like, hey, yeah, do you think I can get some? Um, uh, you can get me a hold of Teddy Hart. This is, be- this is like maybe four months ago. And then I said, yo, Teddy, here's a friend of mine. He's going to hook you up with some autographs. Don't fuck him over. All right? Mm-hmm. I go, if you do, last time I'm going to help you with anything like this. Because he was, you know, nobody wanted to work with him. And he was like, right. hey, can you help me out with anything? I go, well, I'm right. not going to give you work because you're going to do the same shit you always do. Go into business for yourself. Bring an entourage. The same, the, the whole Teddy deal. Cats People, pissing in the locker room. Right. I'm going to bring the <laughs> cat, kitty litter. Right. So I hooked him up with this guy. And the guy goes, hey, man. The minute he said this first sentence, I said, okay, the, already that was a mistake. He goes, I PayPal'd Teddy half the money, and I haven't heard back from him, right? Uh-huh. So I hit him up, and I go, bro, what are you doing? He goes, oh, this cop stopped me because I didn't have the, re- the right registration, and I'm getting it fixed, and blah, 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 and all this. I go, bro, you tell me that story all the time. I, f- I found out that that story was true, but that didn't mean – you know, he couldn't call the guy and tell him, hey, man, I couldn't make. I mean, he just didn't call him back. You know, there are just certain people that you already know there's a good chance, you know, they're going to be irresponsible. Why are you even fucking with them? Yeah. 